Hey guys, in this video we're gonna talk about mini ITX cases and why I am in such love with the idea of a small case. God, that sounded so weird to say. Anyway, I'm gonna explain my pros and cons with building in Mini ITX, hopefully convincing you to buy Mini ITX as your next PC build, so to speak, guys. Uh, I am psyched, as you can see now. We better get into it, all right? Let's go! Hey, how is it going, guys? It's Robin here on Chips Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on this channel. You will find PC components, tech gadgets, and console accessories, as well as product reviews. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing in this video. Yeah, we're gonna look at my top the reasons why you should choose an ITX case for your next PC build. And yeah, with that said, let's, yeah, let's dig in to it. So first and foremost, the size, of course, but it's just so rewarding in size some odd way having your PC case on your desk I seriously don't know what it is guys but it's like being able to see everything light up there's something very rewarding with it and I mean if you spent a lot of hard-earned money on sexy components you just don't wanna hide them away right it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever let's go back to the size it shouldn't come as a surprise right now why do I find smaller PC cases fascinating it is something here that makes me giggle a bit on the inside that makes me go bananas by building something totally bonkers people are gonna think you're actually mad how much uh, teraflops you got inside this small box right it's just so fascinating in some way because nobody's going to think your tiny ass pc will be fitted with a 8 core 16 thread cpu that is not what people are gonna expect and yeah also one of the reasons why it's so fascinating now with an atx case with the right case clearance of course you can build a high-end pc that won't take up much more space than the actual length of the graphics card that being said there's several cases that are even smaller than this nzxdh200i that i have with me today like the dan case for example the linus over at ltt had a look at uh, a while ago i linked it down below for you guys as well if you would have told me a couple of years ago that you can build high-end pcs with uh, plenty of cores and uh, yeah a high-end graphics card like the 1080 ti for example run 4k gaming i would have laughed in your face yeah the future is here guys size does not matter any longer you can build very high-end pc systems in small form factors nowadays and thanks to the evolution in the tech space where chipsets have become smaller and smaller require less power which means you don't have to worry as much of cooling as you had to do years ago many many times i hear people get discouraged to build in smaller cases because they fear that they need better cooling capacity simply put more moving fans to deal with all the extra heat guys the truth of the matter is the opposite you're not only dealing with less amount of heat as with a bigger system you're also gonna find it easier to actually get rid of the heat as well because we're dealing with less space less air need to be moved since the area of warm or or hot air is gonna be smaller that's the rules of physics and physics never lie now let's go back to uh, what i love about mini itx cases you can of course have it sitting on your desk and it won't occupy too much space also you're dealing with less dust thanks to having it on your desk and not on your floor because we all love to show off our pcs right Having it on your desk will make everyone see it in a way that they wouldn't if it was sitting on the floor. It also makes it easy to connect USB peripherals, not having to get down on your knees every time. It also makes it perfect to bring along to LAN parties, being able to bring it along to whatever event you want, rather than bringing your less powerful laptop 
boring. It simply doesn't feel like this huge sacrifice you have to do as it would have been with bringing a bigger case. Now I have demonstrated in the past guys where I've been playing tons of different games on this PC so I won't be doing that in this video but <laughs> yeah you've seen it with your own eyes. It is possible. Now a few things to have in mind on behalf if you're thinking about building your own ITX build. Alright so first things first AMD is unlike Intel supporting the AM4 socket across all Ryzen processors. So let's just come up with a scenario. Let's say you're gonna buy a B350 chipset motherboard and you're gonna try and pair it with the second generation Ryzen. That is possible. Something to have in mind you might have to update the BIOS for it to accept the new Ryzen processor. Now many motherboard manufacturers have already updated their boards to support the second generation but some boards still lack the new update that AMD released along with the new processors and the only way to make the motherboard to work with the new CPU is to update the BIOS with the first generation processor which is a little bit unfortunate so I would definitely recommend guys to always look the up upon buying if you can buy the latest chipset like the 450 the b450 always do that all right now another thing it can be a bit frustrating to build in smaller cases help yourself a little on the way by investing in a modular power supply unit modular means less bulky cables which will help you a ton and I cannot stress this enough you gotta thank me during the assembly process also typically go with a slightly shorter power supply if possible keep things small remember that modular power supplies often require a bit more space for the extended cables and there's always nice to have the extra space to stuff things away like long cables for example that is often a problem with smaller cases now last and definitely not least fan connectors is another disappointment on ITX enclosures because we're looking at small form factor this is something you're gonna have to keep an eye on having a look in the description on Amazon etc before you press the buy button guys I prefer to buy a case that have a fan control a fan hub or some sort that handles that for you but yeah something to have in mind fewer connections is very common guys I did a review on this case I also tested the performance in the 450 US dollar gaming PC you guys can find those videos down below if you're interested to see what specific parts I decided to go with but anyway that's pretty much sums up my experience working with ITX enclosure now I'm very pumped to hear what future PC builds you guys have in mind, what parts you're gonna use and what games you're looking to play it on, please share your ideas, I'm actually off to build another PC for you guys pretty soon, cannot wait to share more about it, but until next time guys, have an awesome day alright, bye!